For today's review, let's talk about Kings Island's newest wooden roller coaster. This is Mystic Timbers, a creation by GCI and arguably one of their best. This is an outstanding roller coaster. It opens in 2017. And man, I gotta say, this is a fantastic roller coaster. As soon as it leaves the lift hill to when it hits the brake run, it is non-stop action. This ride is all about the ejector airtime and man, does it deliver. It's exactly what Kings Island needed and in my opinion, this is the best ride in the park. So let's kind of run through the ride experience. So when you approach Mystic Timbers, you're going to get this plaza that kind of looks like a drive-in movie theater. You're going to walk under the sign that says Miami River Lumber Company, and all of the switchbacks outsides are done with wood posts, so it's not like the traditional kind of switchbacks, but a good portion of the queue is all cattle pins, so that isn't great. But they have a little bit of theming here and there. They have some TVs that aren't really like working, kind of showing it's all mysterious, that kind of thing. I'd say if you're talking about theming, probably the most themed area is either going to be the plaza or naturally, of course, the shed. There's a little bit of theming in the station, and obviously the ride vehicles look like trucks. I don't know, it just seems like the big thing with King's Island is that it, because it's a lumber company and it's wood, they're just like, well, because it's a wooden coaster, you know, that that is the theming. But I, I don't really know if that really counts. So you're going to take a seat in your ride vehicle. I personally prefer back row the best. Front row is good, but back row is where it is at. And actually you'll notice that these trains have the newer GCI cushions, a bit stiffer, not as soft as the traditional ones. I think they're just fine. I don't see any issue in them. You'll find the same ones on Invader and like Lightning Racer, that kind of thing. And you're going to roll out of the station, take a right, and kind of go through a bunny hop, passing over the train tracks and then start going up the lift hill. And actually, they have some fun narration as you're going up the lift hill. People telling you to stay away, go home, get out of there, that kind of thing. So again, kind of adds a bit to the theme. And then you go down this twisted drop. And actually, I've heard this is GCI's steepest drop on one of their roller coasters. It doesn't feel like it. Again, it kind of feels like a big swooping turn. That's a pretty basic GCI drop. But it's fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, if you're in the back, you really just get thrown around. Then you're going to dive down low to the ground, pass back over the lift hill. And this is where we really get into the good stuff. These are the out and back parts of the ride. These are strong airtime hills, twisty sections. You're flying over the lagoon. It really is nonstop action. It really is one hill right after another. I believe Adam House called one section a double camelback trick track. So the double camelback trick tracks when you're coming back home, right before you come for the brakes. So you're actually doing two bunny hops and you notice you actually jump, you bank right, you bank left, and then you bank right to come up into the brakes. I mean, that, that's kind of a pretty weird element name if you ask me, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. There isn't really a dull moment for this ride. You get all the way far back through the woods, you're gonna go through this tunnel and then go all the way back out hitting more ejector airtime hills, staying low to the ground, and this ride is just fun, and it's intense. It's my personal favorite GCI, and the reason I say that is because I like its out and back layout. A lot of GCIs have twister layouts, and there's some great GCIs, like before this it was Gold Striker. So I think whether you like Gold Striker or Mystic Timbers better depends on whether you'd rather have a twister or out and back layout. And because of my preferences, I would take Mystic Timbers. I love all the airtime you get. So of course at this moment, this is when you're going to hit the shed. Of course, this was all hyped up. And did it disappoint? Yeah, yeah, it did. But I try not to look at it that way, because really all it's meant to be is theming around the brake run, so that instead, when you're sitting on the brake run, you aren't bored. That's what it's meant to be. I do think King's Island overhyped it, and they probably shouldn't have hyped it up as much as they did, but if you just go in with the mindset that it's going to be theming while you're waiting on the brake run, then it's fine. I like how there's different settings for the screen. I rode Mystic four times. I got snakes three of those times and then bats once. I heard tree is the most rare. And that's, of course, like the tree from the logo. But, I mean, it's not bad. In my opinion, it's the most themed ride at King's Island. The second being Banshee. And all in all, it's just a very enjoyable roller coaster. Going in, it blew my expectations. I was expecting Mystic Timbers to be the third or fourth best ride in the park, and I was shocked when I thought it was the best ride at King's Island. It's really like what Rob Decker said on opening day. What do you do when you have a world-class wooden coaster like the Beast? Well, you build another world-class coaster. Now you Beast people can fight me on this, but I think Mystic Timbers is better. It's very different. None of the wooden coasters at Kings Island are similar, and that's what I like about it. And Mystic Timbers gives a fantastic night ride. I loved going through the woods of Rivertown on that. That was awesome. You couldn't see a thing. 
So for its final score, what am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a 10. Some people would say, hold on, but the shed disappointed, so you should take off a point or two. But when you're looking at ride experience, I think the shed is really just there for theming purposes. It's not a ride element. When you look at all the ride elements, I don't have any complaints. They're all awesome. My only complaint is that this consistently gets the longest line of Kings Island, and I want to marathon this thing. So that's my thoughts on Mystic Timbers. Let me know about what you think of this fantastic GCI. You can post those all in the comment section below, and of course, stay tuned for more reviews coming soon to Coaster Studios.